What is going on guys welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today I bring you just a fun video away from all the Forsaken news and so forth and more towards the history of our guardians and the problems we have seen and overcome in the past. Today I bring you this top 5 most OP weapons from Destiny's history including D1 which to be honest where most of them lied. But before we get into the video guys, every single month to give back to my most loyal of subscribers, I am giving away a fully customizable controller for either Xbox or Playstation. To be in with a chance of winning it, simply drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. The controller will be sent to anywhere in the world so it doesn't matter where you are based. Enter the Gleam link giveaway, linked at the top of the video description, it's fast, simple and legit people. Good luck everybody. Okay so first before we get into what in my opinion are the top 5 most OP weapons of all time, let's check out some of the other ones people consider the OP. Firstly a weapon that was OP in D1 and that was for PvE and that was the Galahorn. Oh boy do I miss this weapon. A weapon they confirmed won't be making a return to D2 but who believes Bungie nowadays. The Galley was actually one of Zerg's first ever exotics he brought but many like myself at the time didn't know how good it was or eventually would be so we skipped that week's exotic saving our strange coins hoping the next week the following week he'll bring something else which we thought might be more useful. To be honest it was a weapon that although was great from the start it eventually became the must have weapon around the start of the Crotus end raid which was part of the Dark Below DLC. Around then it became the must have weapon for that raid. I remember LFG requirements to join was to own this weapon and it's soon become an icon it's probably the most recognized exotic in the destiny universe if you know about destiny you know about the galley it's as simple as that but how about the serious regime pre-nerf year one the original the very first weapon i believe many loved which bungie ended up nerfing into the ground and along with it every other auto rifle it was a big move by bungie and until this day auto rifles never really made a recovery in d1 the weapon though was amazing back in the day it never had the new perk spinning up it had focus fire. Many people kept two, including myself, and never leveled up the second one, applying focus fire to the weapon, as many people thought it was better without it. Me personally, I loved it using both, but I kept two versions just in case. But yeah, the Suze Regime was the king of PvP. It didn't last long, but it was the OG king for sure. But how about the Hawk Moon people? This for me, I won't lie, wasn't too bad because by the time it got to Xbox it had been nerfed a few times, but pre-nerf, the weapon was capable of one-shotting you. Yes, you heard that right. The weapon could literally one-shot you. Because of its perk setup and having both luck in the chamber and holding aces, at least three bullets in its clip size of 13 would do considerably more damage. It meant two tapping had never been so easy, but there's also a chance that all three bullets offering this damage buff could stack into one bullet and I saw many submissions sent to me of demonstrating this. It was crazy. A hand cannon that could one shot you. Absolutely nuts. But now that we're on the subject of hand cannons, there were many, many hand cannons people did consider OP. Me personally though, sometimes I'd bitch when being on the receiving end of them, but the point that they could be matched by many other weapons, we didn't see that many complaints about these hand cannons, and that's the ones with luck in the chamber on. Weapons like the palindrome, the IS Luna, and so forth, these were fan favorites, and were weapons many, many people had fun trying to chase. Even without looking in the chamber though, these weapons were still quite good. Many of these hand cannons could still free tap you to the face. Something many believe is missing from D2 right now. I am one of them people. Hand cannons just do not hold a place in PvP at the moment for me in D2. So would I call this kind of hand cannon OP, like the IS Luna, the Palindrome with looking in the chamber? Actually, I wouldn't people because there were plenty of other weapons that could match them. Another weapon I want to quickly mention before we get into the top 5 was the Prometheus Lens when it was first introduced to D2. The weapon was so good, it was unbelievable, especially in that PvP. There was a bug within it, I'm not sure what it was now, but it was just it just meant it could kill you so quick. It was considered OP, one of the most OP weapons of all time, maybe. But the fact they allowed Zer to sell it so everyone could have fun for the weekend, and then they nerfed it. I mean, I don't think it really deserves a place in my top 5, even though it was quite OP. But the point of everybody could have it lessens down that scale. Okay, so guys, we are finally here. These, in my opinion, are the top 5 most OP weapons in Destiny's history. At 5, we have the f Spear. Who remembers this sniper rifle? Now what made this thing super OP was the fact it could have final round on it, meaning it could one shot you to the body. Now I know there were other snipers with this perk, it's just the FVD spear I do remember being many people's favourite. I clearly remember people picking up uh, special ammo in modes like trials and wasting bullets until they got to that last shot and then they'll just simply take out anybody with a body shot. It was really that simple. It was seriously annoying to come up against but a lot of people abused it and it did end up being removed from the game completely. Final round on snipers was no more I believe. 
Next up we have the daddy of shotguns, the Foul Winter's Lie. Who remembers this in its heyday? The Iron Banner shotgun, damn it was a beast. What made it even more OP was the fact at the time you could reforge weapons meaning if you got a crappy roll on it for a small cost you could re-roll it until you got the perfect roll. I remember seeing this with Rangefinder, Hammerforge and Shot Package. It even had Luck in the Chamber on it too. The thing was like a sniper rifle, it was indeed in damn sane. And it was a shotgun by far the best in its class, no doubt about it. Shotguns followed like the Matador, the Party Crusher and many others but none could hold up against the Falwinters in its heyday, it was truly a beast. Another shotgun I remember using and abusing and it was one of my favourite exotics in the game at the time for PvP and that was the Universal Remote pre-nerf. I can't remember what happened to it but out of nowhere it became a fan favourite to many people. For sure it wasn't mine anyway and I had major fun using it in PvP to a point of it being the only thing I used. The hate mail I got was amazing but as Bungie do they nerfed it into the ground making it one of the worst exotics. True shame. Okay so moving on and the first and only weapon featured from Destiny 2. I mean Bungie did do a great job in keeping everything balanced for sure. PvP in Destiny 2 is boring because it's so balanced if you ask me because the balance of it makes it real slow paced mainly due to the time to kill 4v4 and so forth. Bungie tried speeding things up with a go faster update and it did kind of work. Many have forgot about how bad D2's PvP was when the game first launched. With recent updates though we have seen a few weapons literally stand above the rest, namely the Vigilance Wing and the Graviton Lance. Now to me to call them OP is kind of hard as you guys well know, weapons that are considered OP and complained about Bungie always break with nerfs. That isn't the route we want them to take though because we have experienced that in the past with D1 and more or less sucking the fun completely out of PvP. They have stated nerfs are not coming but buffs to other weapons are. We are yet to see any changes to other weapons and I truly hope they do what they say. Nerfing as we all know is not the answer people. So the Vigilance Wing to me is above everything else besides the Graviton Lance but with the Vigilance Wing many other weapons can compete with it. The Graviton Lance though in my opinion is on a whole other level when it comes to what we are used to within D2. The weapon is OP, I will say it, but not with the intent of it being nerfed. No, 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 we don't want that. But it is OP. It's a weapon capable of killing an entire team from a couple of bursts. I was sent in a clip the other day of a dude killing one person and because the weapon has that perk black hole, which a second shot of the burst rips a hole through space time, doing high damage and recoil with no fall off and cosmology, kills with this weapon cause enemy targets to detonate. It killed 5 others including the initial target, he wiped out 6 people with 1 kill if that makes sense. No other weapon besides heavy that I know of in D2 can do that. The weapon is nuts people and that's without talking about it in general. It basically has max range, almost perfect stability and can almost 2 burst everything. It's a true beast people it really is and it's the first of its kind in D2, hopefully it isn't the last. Next up we have the Fawn. Man oh man I hated the Fawn. The weapon truly was ridiculous and what made this thing even more OP is the fact people would stack using it. And I believe it was the first time well I can remember people complaining about team shooting because it would literally take two shots to kill somebody because of its burn effect. So if three, four, five or six people were using it against you, you seriously stood no chance. I remember when it was all that was used in Trials of Osiris. Damn that was terrible to play at the time. One of the worst states I can actually remember Destiny's PvP being in, but that's just my opinion. I know many people like the phone but I wasn't one of them. It was the go-to weapon, you were forced to use it because of the way people played with it, it was the only thing that could match it was the fawn itself. And to be honest, once Bungie announced that it was receiving a nerf, many many people had a massive sigh of relief. The fawn was a true animal of a weapon. It will never be forgotten. Okay guys, so we're finally at that number one spot and the weapon which I consider to be the most OP weapon of all time and that was the pre-nerfed Vex Mythoclast. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, the thing was an absolute animal. I remember seeing gameplay of it when it was first obtained from the Vault of Glass. Seeing how fast this thing killed, I was amazed. It was a must get for me. It was a weapon I needed in my life. So I found the Vault of Glass and actually I think I got it dropped pretty quickly. I think on my second attempt. This meant I got to use it in PvP at its full strength and damn people I've never experienced anything like it. If you remember this thing is classed as a fusion rifle but imagine a fusion shooting fully auto like an auto rifle that's what you had here. I'm pretty sure it did almost 60 to the head. 60 to the head people for a weapon that shoots relatively quick you can imagine how this thing destroyed in PvP and it did guys it was incredible. 
But as soon as that, Bungie nerfed it into the ground and it was no more. It will though to me always be remembered as the most OP weapon for PvP of all time. The funny thing about it is, not many people had it, so you would rarely see it. But when you did come up against it in PvP, you knew about it and it caused many many complaints. The 1 in 100 people who had it were just unstoppable and it ended up being nerfed into the ground as Bungie do. But hey guys, we are almost at the end of the video, but talking about the Vex, the fully auto fusion rifle, another weapon popped into my head, so I have to mention it, and that is a pocket infinity. Pre nerf, this was ridiculous. Me personally, I never actually used it properly, but seen by many of what this could do, it was incredible. Again, guys, complaints led to it being nerfed into the ground, and it was no more. But hey, people, we are at the end of the video. If you remember a weapon I haven't mentioned, let me know what it is down below in that comment section. What to you was the most OP weapon in Destiny's history? Let me know down below, guys. But hey, thanks as always for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video leaving a like really does help me out if you're new around here and enjoy daily destiny videos be sure to subscribe and hopefully people i will see you on that next one always in the wrong knowing where we stand but you and i will carry on we never get it right